The PBM4U is a 4-switch controller that can send MIDI program or control change messages to up to 4 MIDI compliant devices. In this video demonstration, we have 3 devices connected to the controller. The devices are connected as follows. The controller has 3 modes of operation, preset bank mode, scroll slash preset edit mode, and controller mode. In preset mode, each switch is assigned a program change number or a preset number. Pressing the switch will send a PC number or a combination of PC numbers called as presets. Pressing the same switch again will call a default preset as assigned in the setup menu. Presets can have up to 4 PC numbers and a tempo for the MIDI clock. You can edit the number of PC numbers in a preset, or the number of devices, in the setup menu. The controller has 20 banks of 4 switch assignments. To increment to the next bank, press both switch 2 and switch 4 at the same time. To decrement to the next bank below, press both switch 1 and 3 at the same time. To edit the number assigned to a switch, press and hold down the switch until edit is shown on the screen. Use the lit switches to cycle through the available presets, holding down any of the two will cycle continuously. To confirm the assignment, press or hold down the blinking switch until save is shown on the screen. To cancel any change, press or hold down the unlit switch. In scroll slash preset edit mode, you can scroll through the available presets. Or scroll through the program change numbers sent per channel. To enter this mode, press both switch 1 and 2 at the same time. The bottom two switches lets you cycle through the presets or PC numbers. Switch 3 will decrement while switch 4 will increment. Press and hold down any of the switches to cycle continuously. If you have set the controller to work with one device only, switch 1 and switch 2 can be assigned to do different things, like call a preset or send a control change message. All MIDI messages will be sent to channel 1. In this example, pressing switch 1 will toggle the tuner function of the Zoom MS70 on or off. Switch 2 will call preset 50 when toggled on, and will recall the displayed preset number when toggled off. If you have set the controller to work with two or more devices, pressing switch 2 will change the focus of the scroll to the next channel, letter A is channel 1, letter B is channel 2, letter C is channel 3, and letter D is channel 4. In this example, I have the Zoom MS70 assigned to channel 1, and the Line 6 M5 to channel 2. The display indicates that we are scrolling through the preset combinations. Pressing switch 2 changes the display to the letter A followed by the PC number. Notice that only the Zoom MS70 is responding. Switch 1 is set to toggle the tuner on the Zoom MS70. You can change this at the setup menu. Now, pressing switch 2 again changes the display to B followed by the PC number. This time only the line 6 M5 is responding. Switch 1 is configured to send a tap tempo message to the line 6 M5. Once you change the value of a PC number of a stored preset combination, Switch 2 will blink indicating that changes have been made. To store the changes in the preset, press and hold down Switch 2 until save is shown. To cancel the changes, press and hold down Switch 1. Each preset is assigned a BPM tempo value for the MIDI clock. In scroll mode, you can assign switch 1 to toggle the MIDI clock. Press and hold down switch 1 to start the MIDI clock. The BPM will be shown briefly. If the MIDI clock is running, you can change the tempo by tapping switch 1 2 or more times. To save the tempo, press and hold down switch 2. 
The MIDI clock will continue even if you change between modes. To stop the MIDI clock, go back to scroll mode. Press and hold down switch 1. If switch 1 is assigned to the MIDI clock, cancelling preset changes is done by changing to a new preset altogether. In controller mode, the switches can be configured to serve various functions. To enter this mode, press both switch 3 and switch 4 at the same time. There are 9 controller banks of 4 switch assignments. To increment to the next bank, press both switch 2 and 4 at the same time. To decrement, press switch 1 and 3 at the same time. To configure a switch, press and hold down the desired switch until edit is shown on the screen. The switch will blink indicating that we are editing the switch assignment. There are various parameters involved in configuring a switch. Pressing the blinking switch will move up to the next parameter. The parameter identifier will be displayed briefly for about 1 second, followed by the currently stored option for that parameter. Use switch 3 and switch 4 to change the values of the parameter. Press and hold down switch 3 or 4 to continuously scan the values. To go back to the previous parameter, press the unlit switch. To store the configuration, press and hold the blinking switch until save is shown on the display. To cancel any changes, press and hold the unlit switch. In this example, the line 6M5 is assigned to channel 2, while the Strymon timeline is assigned to channel 3. We will configure switch 3 and 4 to change the current bank of the timeline. We will also assign switch 1 to toggle the line 6M5, and switch 2 to send a remote tap. The manual for the line 6M5 provides CC number assignments for various functions, the bypass toggle is assigned to number 11 with a value of 64 for on, and a value of 63 for off. A remote tap is sent to the M5 using the CC number 64 with a value of 64. The manual for the Strymon timeline has no single CC number that sends a bank change command. The controller instead sends a special set of MIDI CC messages that mimic pressing two of the switches on the timeline. You can also assign the switches to toggle between two of the PC combination presets similarly available in preset mode. But note that switch presses take effect on top previous activity within the bank. Consult the manual for more info on the various functions assignable to a switch. To reassign global parameters and configure how the controller works, press down simultaneously switch 1 and 4 or switch 2 and 3. This will take you to the setup menu. To scroll through the various parameters, either press switch 2 to move to the next parameter, or press switch 1 to go back to the previous one. The parameter identifier will be shown briefly for one second, followed by the current value assigned to it. Use switch 3 or switch 4 to scroll through the different options available for the current parameter. For values like preset numbers or MIDI messages, you can press and hold down either switch 3 or 4 to scroll continuously. Please consult the user manual for a list of global parameters and their descriptions. To store the changes and reboot the controller, press and hold down switch 2. To cancel and revert back to the previous configuration, press and hold down switch 1. To reset the device to its default programming and assignments, Press and hold down switch 2 and 3 at the same time while the device is booting up. You can also check the current firmware version by holding down switch 4 while the device is booting up. Here are some special notes for Zoom MS users. MIDI functionality is limited to program change numbers 0 to 49, matching the 50 available presets in the Zoom MS. 
the device also responds to two control change messages, CC number 74 for mute tuning and 75 for bypass tuning. Setting the value to 127 will turn on the tuner while setting it to 0 will turn the tuner off. If you have set the Zoom MS to turn on the tap tempo screen when holding down its foot switch, the tap tempo screen will remain active as long as you switch presets using the controller. You are now able to tap the tempo anytime. The controller only has one USB MIDI output for interfacing with devices like the Zoom MS70. However, you can use a MIDI to USB MIDI converter to control another USB slave device. In this example, the Zoom MS70 is directly connected to the USB MIDI port of the controller. The 5-pin MIDI output of the controller is connected to a converter which interfaces 5-pin MIDI to a USB MIDI port. The Zoom MS50 is connected to the converter. The controller now sees the MS50 as a regular 5-pin MIDI device. Thank you for finishing this video. I hope that the PVM4 controller makes your music even better. Remember, you control your tone.